There is no end in sight to the nation's pandemic-fueled supply chain issues, and now it's taking an ugly turn along railroad tracks in downtown Los Angeles. CBS's Lilia Luciano is there and joins us with more. Lilia, good evening. Good evening to you, Ben. Well, cargo theft is just the latest of a long list of problems that are affecting shipping and causing shortages that consumers have been dealing with for a long time, and that's also keeping supplies low and, of course, prices high. A sea of stolen packages litter train tracks near Union Station in Los Angeles. Thieves adding to the supply chain snarls by breaking into Union Pacific containers, grabbing expensive goods, and tossing the rest. Everything ranging from washer and dryers, tires, perfume, cologne, TVs. Railroad officials say about 90 containers a day are hit. And while they work with law enforcement, they're considering diverting some trains away from L.A. County. Making matters worse for consumers already dealing with a 7% inflation rate, the traffic jams at the nation's busiest ports, keeping some store shelves empty. Product shortages are up 15%. I was able to get aspirin, and there's only three bottles on the shelf. This is demand for groceries jumped more than 8%, setting sales records in December, with bad weather in Omicron keeping Americans at home with no relief in sight. The big variable in this is will consumer spending slow down, which is, you know, like asking, will the pandemic slow down? If people, you know, start spending more on entertainment and travel and less on goods. And also COVID caused labor shortages are further pushing and squeezing the supply chain. Experts predict it could take weeks before stores are fully restocked. Ben. Lilia, thank you so much.